Six sales, one listing taken in four months. This guy is on fire. I am here with super agent, good friend, team member, Ted Clare, and this guy has been taking the real estate market in the greater Philadelphia area on by storm. So he's got six, two hands, six sales, one listing, the hardest skill in real estate, all in four months. So I'm gonna shut up now, Ted. I'd love you to tell everyone how you came in here, kind of what your background was, and maybe two or three things you really attribute this success to. I think one of the first uh, keys to my success starting off here has been getting myself in the right environment here with the Tom Tool Sales Group. Um, you know, as a new agent, you're gonna have a lot of questions starting out. I had a million questions, didn't really know anything other than what's on the license test, and uh, you know, still sometimes I have a lot of questions, but I'm lucky that I have uh, yourself and several other great mentors on this team that have a ton of experience, they have a ton of expertise, and I know I'm just a phone call or text away anytime, day or night, and that gives me a lot of confidence going forward with my clients that I'm being trained by the best, that I have the answers, and if I don't have the answers, I'm not far away from getting the answers. And besides for the uh, agents that are more experienced on the team, even the agents that are uh, you know newer, such as myself, uh, we bounce questions and ideas off each other all the time, and you know it's good, great to see just hanging out in the office how somebody takes a phone call differently than you do. What's working for them? What's not? Pick up a little tip or trick here and there, and just trying to soak up as much as I can, like a sponge, and it's uh, helped me really get become a competent agent very quickly and get off to a great start. So you're very kind, uh, kind <laughs> words there, but I, I would argue that it's the environment matters for sure, right? There's, there's a lot of theories out there that the environment is gonna help you grow quicker. Sure. So I, I, I agree with you there for sure. I also know that you're doing the work and I, I, you've tried, to, we were talking before the show here about some things that you've done personally and I'd love you to talk about that because to me, you still gotta do the work. You can be in a great environment and if you're not doing, taking personal responsibility, which you've done, but you have some unique ways you've done that. So why don't, why don't you kind of explain that? Sure. I mean, you, you've got to be consistent uh, and put in the hours every single day. So every single weekday, I'm on the phone by 9 a.m. and I'm spending at least two hours prospecting for new business. And after that, I'm spending my day following up with clients. I'm going out on showings. I'm researching properties for my clients. And hopefully I'm writing offers. And I've been up doing this till 11 o'clock at night sometimes. And I'm not saying you have to stay up till 11 o'clock every night, but definitely you have to be willing to put in those hours every day. This job is uh, a lot different than other jobs where you know you don't have a boss that's looking over your shoulder making sure you're doing what you're supposed to. You're not punching a time clock for a certain amount of hours at the office. You know When nobody's watching, you gotta be able to motivate yourself to get up and do the work every single day, time and time again. Wise words here, and, and I love that it's, and, and you know, I work till 11 o'clock at, at night sometimes too, so I feel you, and it's, uh, why am I doing this, what am I doing? But then when you, when you know what, that there's, a, there's, a, there's some goal you're chasing or something you're trying to hit, and I know you've got big goals, it helps you push you when you need to, because there are times when you gotta put in a little extra effort, and it's not always great, but you're getting the results that you want over time. And, and I love that you're over-indexing on that. So you've also, what I've seen, is be a real advocate for your clients. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Because a lot of agents, they have like commission breath or they come off too salesy and you've been the exact opposite in my observation. I've tried to approach every one of my clients, whether uh, their budget is 100,000 or 2 million, try to approach them with a long-term relationship in mind. I wanna treat all these clients like they're my friend or my family, give them that expert level of service and care I want them to be so happy at the end of the transaction that they're going to tell their friends and family about me and they're not going to consider calling anybody else for their next real estate transaction, whether they're buying, selling, or no matter what. And you know, the key here is that you know, a lot of agents, they say, well, it's, it's hard to convert from your sphere at the beginning of your career. You've already worked with someone that you knew from your previous life, uh, and not previous life, but before real estate, right? BR, like, like, a, like AB. Um, yeah. So how, how'd you approach that? Because I think a lot of agents get scared by that. And, it is a little uncomfortable. I struggle with this a lot still. So how, how did you kind of work that out? How did it come up? I mean, I approached it with a lot of gratitude. I was thankful that somebody that, uh, you know, I, that knew that I was so new to this business is willing to take a chance on me. And I made sure that I was an expert in uh, my knowledge in every property they were looking at so that they could feel confident that they made the right choice taking a chance on me. 
and I treated them with the same level of professionalism as I would treat anybody else who came into our office, you know, putting my suit and tie on and, uh, you know, doing everything by the book, even though they're someone I have a friendly relationship with. And I think they really appreciated the, you know, and were surprised by the expert service that I provided for them. That is such a key because I know, you know what your friends want when they call you to sell real estate? They want you to treat them like a client. And a lot of people, they're almost too casual. And I th you do handle things differently. Maybe it's a little more casual with the showings or, you know, uh, you're having a little more of a personal conversation, but you still took the same approach that worked for you really well. So there, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I'm hearing be consistent, take personal responsibility, make it about the person, not the property, um, get in the right environment treat everyone like a client, what advice do you have for a new agent that maybe isn't hitting the breakthroughs that they want or someone that maybe is afraid to get into real estate? Because you came from a very different line of work before this and you're having tremendous success. And I know that's very common, but a lot of people don't feel that way when they're on the other side. Take a chance doing this. If you, uh, if you are good with people and you really care about people and helping them with one of the biggest decisions they're ever gonna make in their life, then, uh, then this job could be for you. And I highly recommend uh, doing this with a team because I think that when you're a new person you you can't do this on your own you need a mentor and better yet you need a team of mentors uh, that can help you would give you advice and guidance as needed and answer your questions because uh, it could be a scary thing to do by yourself well said my friend you are kicking ass way to go we're gonna see big things coming from Ted here watch out we're gonna put all his information at the bottom of the video here you want to get in touch with him reach out. He's an excellent advocate for his clients, a great guy, and most importantly, an extremely competent agent.